Hey guys, as I described in the previous video, I think I got $300 when you throw in an Ausbeth. That's what like it came out to be when we calculated it. Now, like I might be wrong with some prices, but eventually it evens out. I paid $245.45, which is way more than any store, especially in, in where I live, we're paying cash. But it is for my friend and he does need to pay, pay his electricity. Uh, he does uh, digital marketing, kind of like me, so without electricity, he would have no internet and then he could not do any freelancing, which would be really bad. So this is from another friend. Uh, he is in college. I paid $97.98, but I'm gonna give him some extra money because I did not realize how pricey this card was. So Philia, Maelstrom Nexuses, uh, this card, this card, this card actually is not as valuable as I initially believed. Eternal Witness, L Rangers, Narset. This card, I have to give him extra money because I didn't realize how valuable. I think this is 20 and this is like 10 or this one. This is insanely crazy. Uh, Free Wishes, which is like Matt, uh, Utopia. And he knows that I texted him. I was going to give him a little bit more money. In total, it was ninety-seven, ninety-eight, is what he needed for. What did he need the money for? I think it was for his cable. No, it was for his cell phone bill. Yeah, it was for his cell phone bill. Otherwise, his cell phone would get canceled. A lot of magic players, um, they buy magic cards and they use it. So they know that at any time, I will give them a fair price. Especially, it depends on how much I like you. And that's, there's two groups of categories I've, I've already explained. There's magic players that owe me, I owe me talk about magic with. And there's magic players that I'll go to a tavern or a Irish pub or after the, after the Friday night magic is over, I'll hang out because I don't want to go home, right? That's why a lot of times I'm making these videos, including this video at like 4 a.m. It's not because magic continued until 4 a.m. Maybe magic stopped at like midnight or one, but then there's many places in Humble where you can get, you know, a drink, uh, or even before pre-release or before big events like Chili's and stuff. It's, I love magic for the main reason I still like going to locals is because of friends, uh, your friends, magic is quite interesting. I have friends who are doctors who play magic. I have friends who play magic who are lawyers. I have friends who work construction. I have friends who don't have any jobs. I have friends who are in college. I have friends who are, who have never gone to college or have no interest in college. I have friends who are operators. There's a lot of oil and gas operators here. And I have friends who work in hospitals. I have friends who own restaurants that are really like nice restaurants. And I have friends who own restaurants that are really bad restaurants, but I still eat at them because they're my friends. And I think that's what magic is interesting. It gives me a slice of life Otherwise, um, otherwise, I would be more, I would have less of a, uh, a view, I guess. I, I would have less of an understanding of how life actually is or less of a, um, so when I went to NYU, before I went to NYU, I lived in a very sheltered community, a very Republican, very white. Um, I think I was one of only two Asians in my grade. My grade had 550 people graduate from that, that year. Uh, so it was a big, a big, not private, public school that was kind of well off. I went to NYU, I met so many different people, right? So many different types of people I go to New York City and even not from NYU, just like having going and exploring. And then I went to law school and that was a great experience as well. So I've never been, I've always been a big component of traveling and getting to know different types of people from different walks of life, because that's what life is about. I love books. I absolutely love books. And beyond books, meeting people and dis discuss, I'm the person who like will take a Chinatown bus or an Amtrak bus or an Uber and I'll talk to the person, right? When we were in San Francisco, we took an Uber to Mere Wards and my friends and I, and I was talking to the guy and the guy was a, so smart, like your Uber drivers and your Lyft drivers, they just have such interesting backgrounds. And I always make sure to talk to them because 
I, I like seeing different perspectives in life. Uh, that's very interesting to me. Just like different books. So overall, he knows that these are more valuable. And as I found out, because uh, sometimes he's just like, okay, well, I need 97, 98 today. What can you give me at nine? So I wanted these. I wanted these. Uh, I stock popper now. <laughs> no, I'm, so funny, I'm a popper. This is on the reserve list. This one is just a very beautiful card. Narset, I have dozens of Narset. It is no surprise that I'm collecting her to oblivion and beyond. These I like. These have recently gone up in price. Uh, these, I don't think had any value, but as a playset, I thought it was pretty cool. Like, beast, okay? Pretty cool. This I think is $10. These I don't think are very valuable. These might be $10 and a four or five I think is 10. So all in all, I think overall value after I pay him off for these two. Copy artifact, I did not know. I thought this was a reprint, um, but I didn't recognize the artwork. So I was like, oh, new artwork. That's about $20. So I'll probably give him another 15. And then I don't know what this is. I do give him like 66%. No one's gonna give you 66% of just random stuff. But the thing is, he gives me his own entire collection and we, and I just look at it and we kind of estimate because we can't check the cards one by one. He needs some money like fast. And a lot of times you ask, how fast is it? It's like, literally they're going to cut his cell phone within the four hours unless he has the money to pay them in person at the uh, Cricket Wireless, <laughs> Cricket Wireless. Uh, if you don't know what Cricket Wireless is, it's very Texas and uh, they're everywhere. It's kind of like a spammy play. I, I don't know, I don't want to say spammy. I like it. Anyway, that is it. Um, I know Norman's in the background chewing his bone, so I'm gonna shut this off before he goes too crazy. Bye guys.